Hello everyone. Today I'd like to share some new long distance videos and photos filmed at the California coast, confirming again that we live on a flat earth. Before I get into the proof, I did want to mention one thing. I've been told my videos are often not showing up in your subscription and suggestion feeds. I guess YouTube still doesn't like me very much. I've been told that the best way to get around it is to hit this notification bell right here. It's up to you. I just wanted to let you know. Now, these long distance videos and pictures come from the channel Pablo's Dog. Pablo's Dog is a mechanical engineer and has been a mechanical engineer since 1979 and is currently an engineering manager. He graduated from the California Polytechnic State University and is still well educated in the world's best problem solving methodologies. Pablo's Dog is a flat earther. But he currently only has three subscribers, and so I urge everyone to go to his channel and subscribe and encourage his continued involvement in the community. And I'm truly sorry about the globe trolls who will inevitably come and attack you. Pablo's dog has also posted many of his findings on this surfer forum. Some of you may want to go over and check that out and join the discussion. On the surfer forum, Pablo's dog goes by the name Boater with an H. He has some great posts there, and I'll have all of the links in the description. But let's begin with our engineer's filming location just off the parking lot at the University of California, Santa Barbara. Here's the location on Google Earth. I have his coordinates here, and his observation height was approximately 45 feet. We'll talk about a few other flat earth proofs, but we're going to concentrate on Pablo's dog's footage of the four oil platforms that constitute the Dos Quadras offshore oil field. Here they are. Platform Hill House at 14.6 miles. Platform A at 14.1 miles. Platform B at 13.6 miles. Platform C at 13.1 miles. I do have all the coordinates listed if you'd like to look them up in Google Earth. According to the globe math, at an observation height of 45 feet, the maximum distance to the globe physical horizon would be a mere 8.2 miles. That means you should not see the horizon line or any water beyond 8.2 miles. Let's watch the video. As you can see, the horizon is many miles beyond 8.2 miles, and this is impossible under the globe. If the globe were real, the Earth's bulge should have been blocking a substantial portion of all of the platforms, but none of the platforms are blocked. Because the horizon is beyond the platforms, there is absolutely no curvature present, not even an inch, and no ball earther can reasonably dispute that. No curvature means no globe, and as I have shown with dozens of examples, the globe fills everywhere. Lakes, rivers, canals, oceans, and land, and in all weather conditions. This footage here is also interesting as the land mass appears to be the Ventura Harbor Jetty at over 34 miles away, and that jetty should be hidden 457 feet below the horizon. That also means that the horizon extends all the way to the opposite shore, 34 miles away. Now, the ball earther propagandist is going to claim that, due to refraction, the bulge of the earth disappeared from here, and then reappeared 20 miles beyond this platform at this line, but left the platform itself unaffected by the disappearing bulge. It's absurd. As I have said many times, refraction is real, and recognized by all flat earthers. Refraction simply distorts distant objects as anyone would expect. 
The inferior mirage, the most common form of refraction with long distance viewing, absolutely blocks distant objects as shown by this boat. The inferior mirage forms an opaque wall. It's interesting. I really like this Skunk Bay time lapse footage. This one is a little different as someone added a boat graphic to the time lapse to illustrate how refraction can block the bottom of the boat. Look at how refraction obscures, distorts, stretches, and compresses, and even creates the illusion of curvature now and then. But it's certainly not curvature. There are so many examples of this. I've shown quite a few examples of compression in the past, like these condos here, as the bottom floors are increasingly compressed by refraction. Likewise, it appears as though the bottoms of these further platforms on the left are compressed by refraction. Again, refraction is real, but refraction is not a long-distance vision enhancer that removes physical bulges of earth and water that allows the observer to have super x-ray vision through the ball earth. It's utter nonsense and entirely devoid of actual proof, much like unicorns. But sadly, the ball earth faithful will tell themselves anything to maintain their globe illusion. Notice also how the further platforms on the left are perspectively higher than the closer platforms on the right, exactly as we'd expect on flat Earth. Under the globe, the further platforms should be sinking more and more behind a giant bulge wall. The bottoms of the platforms should not be rising perspectively as the platforms get further away, like these doors in this hallway here. Notice how the bottoms of the doors rise up perspectively, while the tops of the doorways get lower and lower. That's exactly what you see with the platforms belying the ball Earth. With respect to the distant peaks and other visible distant objects, here are a few pictures and analyses by Pablo's dog. Take your time and look through these photos because I could make an entire video for each of these pictures, but I don't want to make this video too long. Pause the video if you need to. As any reasonable person can see, we see way too far, and there's simply no evidence that there's a globe here, or anywhere for that matter. It's uncomfortable to shake off your globe indoctrination, but the truth is worth it. Thank you, Pablo's dog, for your work here, and I hope to see much more from you. Take care, everyone.